name's Fiona and welcome back to Crafty by Rose. In today's video I am going to review my first year of diamond painting. So these paintings that you see here are all diamond paintings I've completed within my first year of diamond painting. I started diamond painting roughly around this time last year so this is my year's worth of completed paintings. There, you may notice in this video that they're not quite as many as some other diamond painters. My reasoning for that being I am a multi-crafter and I do crochet as well as diamond painting so I don't just do one craft and I'm not a particularly fast diamond painter. I do it more for the therapy than the speed. So let's get on to the review. So this one here is the first diamond painting I ever did. Actually, no, this is the second one. The first one I did, I don't have anymore. That was, I'll, if I remember, I'll, I'll put an image up on the screen here now so you can see it. But the first diamond painting I did was the bumblebee on a honeycomb wall with flowers. It was a kit from Amazon and it was the very first time I'd ever diamond painted. I didn't particularly know what I was doing. So in as a novice, I thought it would be quicker to diamond paint if I took the all of the complete cover off of it. So instead of peeling back a section, I took the entire cover off and I also thought that it would be best to do all of one symbol first and then all of the next symbol. And I thought that post doing it that way would be quicker. What I didn't factor into that or think about was that by the time I got to the end of the painting, that certain areas of the canvas would be dried out. So that canvas I didn't keep. Unfortunately, it did dry out and I didn't get to complete it. That being said, the only part that I didn't finish was one of the wings on the bumblebee. But to be fair, even if I had, the quality of the kit wasn't that great. So I probably wouldn't have kept it. But this is the second ever diamond painting I did. So this is a stock image. Stock image, it's a NASA stock image, I believe. So it'd be a galaxy stock image. So this was the first one I did. I remember when I did this, it felt like it took me ages to do, which considering it says it's a 25 by 35, but in reality, I think it's probably a 20 by 30. It's a snack size painting, but that first one did feel like it took forever. I enjoyed, so if I put this, zoom you in a bit. So I enjoyed doing the purple sections in the middle and going into out into the orange. I wasn't so keen on the 310 at the sides. I thought it made it too dark. I think it should have probably been like a 939. I did enjoy doing this painting. From there I went on to this one. So this is the Mickey Mouse and Stitch where they're wearing each other's costumes so to speak. It was a image that I originally bought that I was going to do as a gift for someone but I didn't get around to doing it in time. This one I got from AliExpress. This says it's a 25 by 25. It is actually a 20 by 20. This one I so did enjoy doing there wasn't any problems with the drills or anything like that and I, I did get a little bit quicker with this one so I didn't get around to giving it a gift at the time I may still gift it in the future so there's that one then the next one I completed was this one here with the hummingbird this one was this one was actually from Amazon I was about to say it was from AliExpress but it wasn't I got that one due to all the shades of purple in it and the flower background as well so it was a mixture of the colour palette and the flowers and the intention being it was going to be the first one that I framed and as we can see I haven't got around to framing it. This one is a 25 by 35 so this one the only problem I had with this one is the it was meant to be a poured glue canvas but it the whatever glue they've used isn't particularly strong so the I did have a tough time getting the drills to adhere to this canvas. So far, I haven't had any pop off, but that was one of the first few that I completed that I planned on framing, and hopefully one day I will. Then we have this colourful butterfly, like the rainbow butterfly. This one was an Evermoment canvas. You might be able to tell by the tape that's washi tape that's on this so there we go 
this also was the first square diamond painting i ever did and i just fell in love with squares after this it has become my preference and for me the reason i chose this painting was the butterfly i love butterflies adding all the bright colors and kind of like the tie dye slash watercolor effect of it the painting that just drew me in and i wanted to do that one and it did come out really well the only sections that i didn't particularly enjoy doing was these sections here the dark patches in the middle and this top part of the butterfly's body it was a lot of constant change on the different shades of pink and like the greys and black so i didn't particularly enjoy that section but the rest of it i absolutely loved it so that is my fourth completed one and my first square then this i would say this, this was my first diamond art club but it's not it is my second the first diamond art club i started to do was white hamza hand and i only ever got halfway through that the thing that i didn't particularly like about that was the white background because the symbols that they'd use for the white in white hamza hand was so dark it showed up it, even after you'd placed the drills down it just didn't look right i got halfway through it and i couldn't be asked to complete it i just didn't enjoy it so that just got shelved I don't think I'll ever complete it, it'll just stay in my stash. But this is the second Diamond Art Club that I started, but it is the first ever Diamond Art Club that I completed. This is Galaxy by Erica Wiseman, or otherwise known as Erica the Goober. So this one was a 42, 42 by 53 and it is square and for me it was her hair the different shades of purple in her hair that drew me to this one i finished it rather quickly but compared to the other diamond paintings i don't leave it up to this one i did add in a lot of diff the ab drills i bought extra abs so i placed more in her hair diamond i could have only had three and i've probably used about seven different ab's in here and i think i also used some crystals in this one but i placed extras in her dress and in her hair and i did swap out the drills that are in her earrings there's two things i am not particularly fond of on this canvas and that is the colors that they used for her skin tone she looks to be pink like bright pink it doesn't quite look right and the other thing that they changed compared to the original image was her hair now here we are so there is what her hair was supposed to be look like this is the original image by erica wiseman so as you can see at the top her hair starts out as a light lilac and then gradually gets darker and darker into like the lavender dark lavender at the end but in the diamond painting that they've done they've done it as her hair being pink at the top and then going into dark purple well medium purple and then dark it doesn't look right it was much better in the image that erica wiseman did i don't know why they did it so that was my first completed diamond dark club the next one i did was piano dream by cyc the for me it was was the piano, piano playing that drew me to this i've always wanted to learn how to play piano unfortunately as yet i haven't but it is something i would like to do at some point and again with this i did add in my own extra eight bs so if i zoom you in so in this sky here all the silvers that you can see that pop in this are the extra crystals that i added into it i wanted the not what this is meant to be the night sky in this so i wanted that to stand out more so i added my own ab's into that section there i do plan on framing this one it is one i'd like to frame so that was my second completed diamond art club so after i completed piano dream i started on free like a bird by jojo's aunts 
Originally, I was drawn to this to this due to the fact it reminded me of The Lion King. And The Lion King was the first film that I ever went to the cinema to see when I was a kid. I remember going to the cinema to see it and that brought back memories for me, so I thought I'd enjoy this. When it first started out, I did. I started down here on this side. But after I got to about here with all these different shades of orange and brown, I started to not like it as much. And by the time I actually started the line, it became more of a chore than a love. And I couldn't get myself to finish it. I just, when I started, I'd be doing like one of these sections here a day. And by the time I got to the lion, it was taking me two days to do half a section. I really wasn't enjoying it. And I only have this part left to do so I do plan on finishing this one I just don't know when and here we are at the last and recent, most recent painting I completed this is Aurora Beauty by Deborah Malcolm this is the first round that I've ever done that I actually enjoyed doing I thoroughly enjoyed this. I didn't expect myself to complete it because it is the largest one I've ever completed. I believe it's 101 by 51 centimetres. So it was the largest. So I knew that would take me a while to complete. And the other thing was, I thought with it being round, I wouldn't complete it. I thought I wouldn't be able to have the motivation to do it. But with this particular image, the fact that it was around didn't end up being a problem for me. I just sailed through it and thoroughly enjoyed it. So there we have all the diamond paintings I've completed since I first started diamond painting this time last year. Let's get these back in. So they're all my, like I said, they're all my diamond paintings that I've completed within my first year of diamond painting. I've enjoyed going through all of these canvases with you and showing you the work that I've done this year. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, then please do consider giving this video a like. If you would like to see more content like this and you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you have your notifications bell turned on. That way you will get notified of when I upload another video. So thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you all next time. Bye.